Welcome to the Arizona Wildcat Show, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley. We went out to Arizona football practice Wednesday and talked to nose tackle Sonny Fuimaono about, among other things, his role in the defense facing Washington State and what he thinks of Arizona's decision to drop the haka dance. Here's what he said. You, you face a team like, like Washington State. I mean, they're not going to hold on to the ball very long, the quarterback group. What do you need to do with the line to, to make an impact? I think we just got to be, be quick out and get off, and getting off blocks. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'm just staying on the edge. I mean, if yeah. we go down the middle on the guys, I mean, we'll definitely lock up easier. But if we stay on the edge uh-huh. and we're just quick and, and, get, and getting off blocks, I think we'll get there. Yeah, they're so unique in terms of what they do, especially since you guys don't play Cal Correct. this year. How hard is it to turn around and prepare for a team that does that um, in five days or whatever it is? Um, well, I mean, I think, you know, we it's, it's just a matter of, of what we've been doing all all along the season. It's just focusing more on, on shutting down the pass game, mm-hmm. forcing them to pass the ball and then getting after it. And they run a little bit. I mean, they not do. a lot, but when they do, it seems to go for big gains. Definitely. Um, I think not many schools uh, are prepared for it when they come for the run. So, I mean, they get caught off guard because they're always passing. But I think we're ready. I mean, we've had a great week of practice, and uh, we're ready to get after it. You stay close with uh, Coach Salabea? Uh, I haven't talked to him in a while. Yeah. But uh, definitely, I talked to him last year. Yeah. But I mean, he lo- he looks good from what I've seen. <laughs> a lot better than when he when he was first here. <laughs> Hope he doesn't hear that. <laughs> well, I was talking to Lenny about him the other day, and Lenny like went home to to Funa. Right. And Joe Salabe is there. Yeah. I mean, but I, they're from the same. The, the, I mean, yeah. the same uh, village. Right. I mean, and his brother Oakland was Lenny's coach and trained trained uh, trained Lenny. So. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Is it, is it nice to see, a, it's a weird question, but uh, you look at Utah, they start a lot of Polynesian Correct. players. Oregon State's getting a lot with Sataki mm-hmm. there now. Is it cool to look across the field and see a guy who, you know, maybe is from the islands or, or has some of that same background? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely exciting to see um, more Polys out here, you mm-hmm. know, playing the game and, and, and at, at this level, Division One. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, during the game, it's like, uh, if we're up, and you know, if we're definitely beating them pretty bad, then... No, we like to jerk around to, to those guys, but usually we save save it all for after the game. Yeah, it's. What do you think of the Haka deal a couple weeks ago? Uh, I mean, it's definitely. I mean, we're bummed. Yeah. Um, but we didn't want it to be a distraction, so definitely we got we got things to take care of, and so um, that's our main focus right now is just taking care of what we got to what we have control of. It seems weird that you guys would do it to essentially honor your heritage, and Correct. somebody says it's not good enough. Correct. Um, I mean, there's, there's, wherever you go in life, there's going to be people who praise you, people who, who hate on you. and But, I mean, you just got to do what's, what's best for the, for, for the moment. Do you do anything on game days privately to kind of honor where, where you're from? And Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, definitely in my room and stuff back yeah. at the hotel. What do you do? We're always jamming out to, to music, you yeah. know, island music from back home or on the, like, a little bit of... Like, I, I like to get pumped up with like, my regular music, but then I also calm down with... For some island music, mm-hmm. um, but I also, if I mean, I, if I'm going to to play at a place where I have you know family and stuff, mm-hmm. or people that I know that they, they'll bring me some island food. Oh, cool! But uh, I mean, definitely. I mean, and I also, I also pray yeah. before every game. So, what's your favorite island food? Oh, she. But if you have to say like traditional island food, mm-hmm. yeah. Samoan food, I would say there's uh, taro. Uh-huh. Uh, it would be my starch. Uh, pea supo is a type of I mean it's corned beef mm-hmm. and then palusami mm-hmm. is like this uh, coconut like wrapped with leaves uh-huh. or coconut milk and all that mm-hmm. it's it's good stuff yeah. that's, that's that's my favorite mm-hmm. meal Hawaiian barbecue that's good stuff too Hawaiian barbecue is real good uh, we don't have <laughs> great Hawaiian barbecue I, I mean no offense to mamas <laughs> no offense to mamas but uh, no not close <laughs> Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.